Hello there. This is where the fun begins. What's up guys, unofficial Star Wars here. Hope you're all doing well, and we're gonna check out the Agalite official trailer. Welcome to my reaction initial thoughts video. Let's go ahead, hop right on into it. Close your eyes. Your eyes can deceive you. We must not trust them. Is that like the Jedi Temple on Coruscant? Tell me, what comes into your mind? Yeah, it looks like it. That's crazy. Life. Balance. I see fire. Ooh, we're fighting now. That force push is cool. So Mars killing Jedi. It doesn't make sense. What happened? I sensed darkness. This isn't about good or bad. This is about power, and who is allowed to use it. What is that? Oh, There's like five Jedi taking on one set right there. Two episode premiere due for it. Wow. Okay. Um, first things first, guys, I've had a long day. I've purposely been avoiding watching the trailer for, for this video. And, um, the one thing, the first thing that comes to mind is, like, what are you guys talking about? A lot of comments I've been seeing is, like, oh, Star Wars doesn't put aliens in their shows anymore. Dude, there's so many aliens. And I love it. I think it's great. I think it's cool. So, I don't know if that's, like, a joke or I don't know if you guys are being genuine about that. But I've seen that in, like, a lot of comment sections over on Twitter instagram people complaining about that no complaints for me i mean wow that was cool that was like some this is like this feels like prequel like genuine prequel stuff and i feel like obi-wan kenobi that show kind of tried to recreate that same feeling with those characters but the acolyte's going to bring that prequel feeling back for sure because of the story you're dealing with so many Jedi in this time period, and that in itself is going to be very much so incredible. And when we're dealing with those prequel kind of orientated planets, maybe per se, like Coruscant, you aren't, those aren't flashbacks necessarily. Those are like, that's there. And like, we're seeing more of it, I think is going to be a big part of that, if that makes sense. But this was definitely worth the wait. I mean, as I had also mentioned here, halfway through, the choreography looks killer. Uh, quite literally uh, it looks insane the choreography the fight scenes and like how they do the martial arts like you know hand-to-hand -hand type of stuff going on there and then all of a sudden you get hit with that force push we've never seen anything like that aside from like some old republic cinematics and i could be wrong about that maybe clone wars has come close to where you have yeah certain scenes in there or certain fight scenes where your characters are fighting each other and then just like hit them with a force push like halfway through like you kind of forget that these guys are jedi or sith and like they that they have these powers and all of a sudden you see somebody get thrown across a room is pretty insane and then itself is quite really quite amazing i mean I'm skimming through here just wow and it, it's something that i've been preaching here on the channel for the longest time is the way that this show is going to bring such a new feeling to the star wars franchise it's going to be something familiar of course it's star wars but at the same time you have all new characters a whole new story uh, new planets new aliens everything here it was, so it's a very very refreshing feeling i think all at the same time and we haven't had something like that since the mandalorian came out back in 2019 that in itself was dealing with new characters new planets new a new story overall and even then not as a complaint but the mandalorian has kind of found itself kind of merging into characters that we know and love like Boba Fett, Ahsoka, uh, Luke Skywalker of course, having some of those things like that in there. So having something like the Acolyte 
is going to be totally out of question out of the picture like these are all new characters characters that we've never seen before and as i had mentioned the last time that we had something like that at least for live action was the mandalorian and uh, i mean considerably for animation the bad batch but oh, wow this was definitely this is definitely worth the wait and uh, as i had mentioned also halfway through amanda steinberg looks amazing in this i, I mean she looks phenomenal. I, she's, she didn't even say anything, and she just looks so menacing and like so cool. There's a Wookiee Jedi. Come on. <laughs> guys, this trailer looks amazing. That's all I can say. Let me know what you guys thought about it in the comments down below. I think my only complaint is that this trailer is short. It's like a minute, 45 seconds, even though that's pretty standard length, but I want to see more. Like, June 4th? Oof, can't come quick enough. Let me know what you guys all think in the comments down below. I'd love to hear what you guys are all thinking. Thanks so much for watching today's video. Of course, this has been Unofficial Star Wars. If you guys don't know, this is what I look like. I don't normally show my face here on the channel. Uh, unless we're doing reaction videos. So, yeah, this is me. But yeah, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Have a great one. May the Force be with you as always. Peace out.